I'm joined today by Tracy Simpson with the City of Lloydminster. Tracy, thank you so much for taking some time with me today. And now the city is looking at the future of the Lloydminster Cultural and Science Center, now being called the Lloydminster Museum and Archives. What is currently being planned by the city for the new facility? So the new facility is going to incorporate a lot of the things we had in the last space, but just into the new space. We're going to have, you know, a permanent exhibit featuring uh, the archives and the items that we have in our collection. We're going to have an art studio and the pottery studio, which are features that we currently have that we're moving over. Uh, we're going to provide some space for some traveling exhibits, uh, ones that we can share from other museums, as well as featuring kind of some specialty items that we already have in our collection. And then programming and gift shop space and all of those features that a museum traditionally has. Now, one of the things the city plans to focus on with the new facility is local history. Just why the emphasis on local history here with the new facility? Woodminster has a unique story to tell and we wanna um, be part of sharing that story. And we, um, we have a, an expansive um, collection of, of items and artifacts that feature that story and we wanna put them on display so everyone can enjoy them. Now this month, from right now up until March 22nd, the city is looking for some feedback and public engagement. How can people get involved with that and what kind of feedback are you hoping to receive? They can get engaged online at uh, yourvoicelloyd.ca slash LMA. And we're looking for ideas on what they see the future of the facility look like, what they want to, what they enjoy about uh, going to the museum, what they look forward to in the new space. There's opportunities to do surveys and idea boards there's some Q&A for the public, and uh, we're just looking for them to reflect on their past experience, what they enjoyed about that, and what they look forward to in the future. Now, how will that feedback be used by the city when it comes to creating the new Lloydminster Museum and Archives? So the feedback will incorporate into our vision and our, our plans for the facility. We'll take all of our public engagement and look at uh, kind of what we heard in terms of themes, and we'll incorporate that into our vision and, and long-term plan. They were really excited to hear from the public. This is a great opportunity for them to voice their, uh, their passion and their interest in the museum, and we look forward to hearing that. All right, Tracy, definitely an exciting time here for the new facility. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today.